I'm Todd Grisham, and what a venue. We are live at the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. Nobody knows who's going to win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. Tyson Fury, he's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. Well, Johnny, I agree with you, but this is boxing, as you know, and anything can happen. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at 6 feet 9 inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Well, I hope you brought your sunscreen. You're going to need it as we have our main event underneath the bright, sunny sky. Right. You can't beat a good old-fashioned rivalry. When there's guts, when there's feeling, when there's heart involved, that's when you get a good fight, one-on-one. -on -one. And that's the opening bell, round one. the charts action from both of these fighters. Good punch. Open air stadium, blazing sun. What do you think about this? Todd, this is something you can never, ever get used to. How many gyms are built outside? How many times do we train, spar, and everything outside? Now you're having a fight outside. This is where fighters may gas themselves out. This is where the environment may make so much of a difference. You may not realize it, but watch when the rounds go along. Changes from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Ooh, that punch hurt him. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. And there it is! The knockdown punch we knew was coming! It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. He misses with that jab. Both trying for a knockout. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the Swami, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. And he lands a big right hand. in the heavyweight division of the same. It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. One, two, three, four, five, Well, Johnny, what's your advice to this fighter now? He is down big time on the scores. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell to start round three. There's a right hand. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw portion to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. First one to get clipped. Caught 
with that power punch. Got him with a left jab. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. He misses with the left uppercut. Good punch. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes we'll be getting nervous. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Which fighter is going to get caught first? He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He threw the hook, didn't land. left hand when you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are that power that power might be the do or die that power might be the, the, the equal Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a scoring left hand. And he fails to score with that left hook. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Well, we're entering desperation mode here for this guy, Johnny. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Let's start the six.
high punch. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. That left scores. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. He knows that right hand's coming and still can't do anything about it. Seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? And now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Which fighter is going to get caught first? Yeah. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left shot lands. Scores with that right hand. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get caught. What a punch. Oh, 
Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. He just misses with that big right hand. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Another scoring shot there. So that left lands. Oh, look at that left jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He's going to be the first one to get rocked. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the... Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.